why do you think? Is it because they've run out of good uh, people that used to write music or what's happened? That's another question I was going to ask you guys, actually, because there's a lot of remakes uh, of the old songs that we used to have. Now, we always have the same songs that you have. They come again repeatedly in new Bollywood movies as well. They come again. कोई नया गाना इतना कोई खास नहीं आ रहा या आई कि आता भी है तो एक दो आते हैं साल के वरना वो सारे रीमेक्स आ रहे हैं Uh, I said to my wife this exact same statement. I don't understand. I think it's a new cool that everybody's yeah. wanting to do a remake of the, like Coke Studio, for example. And yeah, that is yeah. all that's happening. There's no new comings. So what do you think, Bakar? Bhai? What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, what's what's well, well, your guys' uh, honest opinion? Would you still say your opinion? Well, I'll tell you how I feel. The the old music, hmm. um, but there is no proper music. Every music, <clears> is good. but the thing is, the old songs actually were written by people who wrote lyrics. They were. Hmm. Professional musicians. They were composed by one of the greatest composers and stuff like that. And the orchestra and the music and all the rest of it. So there is something to it, and that's why those songs, you know, which were recorded back in the fifties or sixties, they yeah. are still, uh, you know, people still connect to them. And, and that is the reason that you know you take a great tune which was sung by Rafi or Alamgir or you know one of the greats. Yeah. It was written properly, and the lyrics have a meaning. And like then Noor Jahan songs even. Absolutely, mm-hmm. and you want yeah. to put it forward. So what you want to do then is you want to sort of modernize it, and yeah. that is the reason we have a remix that you put sort of latest instruments on it, you can mm-hmm. the bass and all the rest of it, so the youngsters can connect to it as well. Mm-hmm. But those are great tunes. I mean, those are great, great tunes, and you will mm-hmm. hear songs which really sort of have uh, a time frame. You know, you listen to them today, like a disco song, pop song. It is fine for the time being, but it's not going to go on. No. I mean, I just wanted to say that जो भी है हम लोग रीमेक सुनते हैं हम लोग जैसे ये जिसको दीवाने का ही फॉर एग्जाम्पल आ गया या दोस्ती का आ गया ये पाकिस्तानी फिल्म में ही आया था जिसमें मारा खान और शुएब अख्तर ने एन के गाया था लेकिन जो ओरिजिनल है ना उसका सुनने का ही मजा कुछ और है जितना मर्जी आप उसे रीमेक कर ले मुझे आई डो नो आई एम प्रॉब्ली वेरी ओल्ड इन माईड सोल मी बट मुझे जो ओरिजिनल गाने हैं ना उसके सुनने का मजा ही कुछ और आता है जितने मर्जी रीमेक्स हो जाए जैसे जो क्लासिक आई मीन ये लाइक ये सब न्यू इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स न्यू थिंग्स मे बी बट जब आप वो एक्चुअल नुसरत फतेह अली खान का जैसे कोई कवाली लगाएं जो उसे सुनने का मजा है ना वो दोबारा वो रीमेक में उसकी वॉइस भी यूज करके उनकी वॉइस भी यूज करके म्यूजिक भी डाल के वो वो कवाली का मजा ही खत्म हो जाता है और एक जैसे गजल गजल है आई मीन जगजीत सिंह को अगर आप गजल में उसकी गजल सुने तो वो ज्यादा मजा है बजाय के अगर उसमें थोड़ा सा हनी सिंह डाल दें तो वो गजल का मजा खत्म हो जाएगा और आजकल हो रहा है बड़ा मजा आता है क्योंकि हम लोग कभी अक्सर ड्राइव पे जा रहे हैं क्या बुढ़ी रूह आ गई आपने आपने क्यों इतने पुराने पुराने गाने लगाने हैं पर मुझे वो मजा आता है पुराने गाने और वो पुराने क्योंकि मुझे लगता है कि पूरा गाना सुनो सुकून से सुनो फील द म्यूजिक वो इतनी मेहनत से म्यूजिक बनाए अब वो मेहनत मुझे लगता नहीं है वो उठा लिया उसमें मिक्सअप कर लिया और एक गाना बना लिया amazing musicians uh, you just need to go to programs like nest cafe basement and battle of the bands pepsi ka ya uh, even coke studio uh, it is phenomenal jo pakistani pool of talent na musicians ka and i'm if i go all the way back to late 80s 90s i think pakistan pop scene the folk mm-hmm. scene in pakistan was probably the best i've ever seen uh, india has bollywood uh, there's no com- no comparison there like in uh, the the pop scene we had the folk scene uh, it was the multiple lang- languages we sang in from sindhi to pashto to balochi to punjabi i didn't see that in happening in any other uh, country uh, as well to mujhe to lagta hai ki abhi jo you know nay purane gaano ko dobara jab gaate hain uska thoda sa usko jiddat paida karte hain to it, they appeal to the younger generation and mm-hmm. uh, and they they listen to those songs because they are familiar with the instruments or the sounds and then they start understanding uh, the song as well 
Uh, but I think uh, the current generation of musicians in Pakistan are doing some phenomenal job. The fact that we can compare it to an older song because we are giving our ages away, we've listened to the original song, so we can immediately compare. Okay, yeah. when the, the new generation listens, they're not they've not heard Alamgir before. So for yeah. them, it's something totally new, and then they connect with it. I see that happening with my kids even when they heard Zoe Basun singing. Um, what song was it? Uh, one of the Zoe Basun song came in Coke Studio, and yeah, my yeah. kids. One of them doesn't. My kids they don't speak Urdu very well. Like he's a younger one, but they love that song. Just and because, yeah, I mean, it, uh, yeah, yeah. Emotions. But they never heard of Zoe Basun yeah. in the eighties. I mean, so, Amir Bhai, I was gonna say like I probably haven't heard them in my childhood. I've heard them as I've grown up. But yeah. I, like I said, I've got an old soul with me. Maybe I've connected to the music. Maybe because I've had older brothers that are you know your lots of age and stuff and. Uh, they were listening to it and I picked up from them. Mm. So, uh, you know, there's uh, songs uh, that I've picked up and like, 